What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm your girl Lorna Marie and today for you I am bringing you my pink Christmas bedroom decor which I'm so excited about because I've never got to do a pink Christmas before. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I achieved the look for less without stitching, hot glue, everything is going to be super simple just like how I'm repurposing these old RV pillows and what I'm showing you here is at the end the way that I'm folding them makes it look like a little pouch almost like a seam without actually having to sew which I think is so nice. You might want to like rewind the video and replay it if you need to see exactly how I do it. So also another thing. I use these flower pillows throughout the year and instead of repurchasing entirely new pillows and stuffing and all that, I just buy the covers. Now these are also from Amazon and I just absolutely love them, they're the light pink color. And I'm also going to give you guys some tips and tricks today, like when I zip these things up, I'm pushing the pillow really deep inside so that way the zipper comes together because these are kind of hard to zip. And then I put my fingers underneath the zipper and I zip it. And that way everything zippers nice and seamlessly and I don't ruin my pillow underneath inside the cover. Now we're going to be assembling the bedding and what I do with the fur rug I really think sets everything off. So I'm going to be adding the three pillows into the center and normally I would have bigger ones but since my roof is small I just don't want it to look too much. But see how the rug looks? Oh, It looks so good and I just feel like it doesn't even matter that it's not a comforter. The rug makes it look so much more luxurious than it actually is. Okay, so next up we are going to be doing our pillows. Now these pillows don't need anything. You could totally leave them as they are, but you know I'm extra and I needed to add a pearls everywhere. And speaking of pearls, I wanted to tell you guys about a girl on Instagram. Her name is Amberly Cupcakes. She has one of the most beautiful feeds. We have a very similar aesthetic, and obviously that's why I love her, because she has just pink everywhere. And she does all kinds of like food blogging, and she does such beautiful decor and flat lays. She just did a whole Christmas tree for her friend with pearls, and this is why I'm mentioning her, because it made, totally made me think about her. And I feel like as influencers, we need to all stick together, and if somebody inspires you or you like something they do, got to tell people about them so I'm gonna leave her information down below so you guys can go check her out please tell her that I sent you because she has no idea that I'm even mentioning her so now this is where your artistic eye is gonna need to come into play you're gonna start figuring out the space ratio you want in between each item you're using on your pillow or whatever decor item that you're creating this is where you have to really start deciding how things are gonna come together and for me I just like things very even I guess you could say and proportioned they don't have to be exactly the same shape or size but they definitely need to be proportioned and so now I'm finally cutting because I know exactly the length that I want how big I want my bow to be and this way too you kind of cut out wasting product so as I'm tying the ribbon you'll notice that you kind of lose the material in the center and what you want to do is kind of pull it out and over and expose the proper color of ribbon that you're using. Now if it's two-toned or whatever, because I had one last week that I used it was two-toned, you can have whichever color you want exposed, but just keep those little details in mind. The way the ribbon is at the very end, how it's cut, is it on a diagonal or is it straight? I mean, there's all these different details. Like, do you want your ribbon part where the bow is to be fluffed out or do you want it to lay flat? You know what I mean? I like mine to be have more dimension to it. And the way you achieve that is with wire ribbon. Wire ribbon is your absolute best friend. <laughs> so anyways, speaking of artistic eye, I just want to tell you guys, I get my artistic eye from my grandma. She literally used to take me to model homes to see how they would stage and decorate and the floor plans. And it was just so much fun growing up with her, learning all these different decorating tips and tricks. We'd watch HGTV, the Food Network channel. And I just feel like I developed a lot of the things that I have now because of her. And I just don't think my artistic eye would be as good if she didn't ask me these questions when I was a kid, like, um, is this too busy? Is it classy? Is it colorful? Is it modern? And she would kind of like train my eye to see all the different styles of decor. So I appreciate her so much for that. So what I did is I just draped one end over and the other one over the top. And now it stays, I don't even have to glue it, which is perfect. I just love the way it turned out and I don't know if I'm gonna do ribbon on the other one. 
So I ended up just doing a single row of pearls, which I just love how good it looks. I just, it turned out perfect. I'm glad I didn't go with the center pillow all the way across because I feel like that would have been too much. This might be much for people, but anyways, I love it. I think it turned out great. Okay, so right now on the side of my bed, I have these guys, which love these. I think I got this at like Ross. Oh my God, Home Goods. It's still here. This was on clearance like 20 years ago. Not 20, maybe literally though five, at least five. And then I just got these flowers, stuck them in here, and I think it looks pretty. And it matches those flowers that are underneath the sequins ones, but for now they have to go because we're saying goodbye to our everyday and we are doing Christmas love it and I just love the perfect size of the base and I just love how pretty it looks oh I added this in there but I think it's absolutely perfect you guys so I'm just gonna be adding this ribbon to the outside which ties everything together so every corner you want to be adding pieces that tie into your entire overall look and that makes it have a really cohesive look so I have the ribbon on the pillows I have it now around the base of these trees here that'll be on either side of my bed and then I'm just literally taking the end of one of these little sticks here and I'm poking it in which works perfectly fine I didn't even have to use glue and because it's got the wire in the ribbon it stayed perfectly So now we're gonna be decorating these bad boys. I got these cute little fluffy pom-poms. They're like furry pink pom-poms. And I'm just gonna kind of pull everything out just to see what I have, how many I have for each tree. We have these beautiful pink sparkly roses. All of this stuff is from Hobby Lobby. Then I have these adorable pink Christmas ornaments, which were actually the perfect size for this tree. Then we have these cute little snowflake ornaments, which I love adding snowflake ornaments to all of my trees, even my big trees. Now I'm just gonna be placing all of these pearls. I'm cutting off the tags off first, but I'm sticking all of these pearls into the tree. And I just like to make sure everything's spaced correctly and everything looks even. Then I'm gonna add these flowers. I feel like it's important to add the bigger pieces first and then you can kind of tuck the little things in between. And I just feel like it helps you with the space to how much space you actually have. You don't wanna start sticking the larger items on top of the smaller ones and then you kind of lose them when you do it that way. Then we're gonna add our little pink Okay you guys, so I wanted to pull you in a little bit tighter. So I got this little fuzzy ball here. I like the way that it's looking right now. I'll grab this last one here. And I think we'll put her over here somewhere. I want it like tucked back here maybe. Maybe this one should go down a little lower. So I'm liking the way everything's looking. You'll be able to see it better. Um, I think it's gonna look so, so cute next to that. Now we're gonna be using the little pink ornaments and I'm gonna be sticking those into the empty space. And last but not least for these trees, we have to wedge the little snowflakes in here. How cute, right? Love it so much. Then I'm going to be making my pink garland and I'm just going to be taking giant snowflakes and kind of spreading them out throughout the garland and attaching them with their little wire that they come with. And then I'm going to be putting some beads and stringing those throughout the garland as well. And then I'm going to Put it up and then I'm gonna space out all of the ornaments so that way everything is spaced evenly. Okay, so I set these all across the bed here um, just so I can get my proper spacing to put them up here because this is gonna bring up the pink from down here and I think it's gonna look so cute and so girly. I can't wait to show you guys the final product. So look how cute this is. So cute, a cute little pink purse and a camera. I think I have a nail polish and a cute little globe with Bambi inside. I don't know if it's actually Bambi, but it's got a cute little deer. And I'm just gonna be placing all these ornaments up here with the pearls and the snowflakes. And I just think everything looks so good tied together. So here is the final look. I just love the way everything turned out. I had so much fun doing this. I love my pink bedroom. I cannot wait to take some more pictures for Instagram because it just turned out so cute. 
Let me know what your favorite theme color is for Christmas. Do you like a traditional? What do you guys like to do? Also, I'm gonna be listing everything for you guys that I can find down below, which is mostly Hobby Lobby and Amazon. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you guys so much. Leave me a present emoji and let me know that you did. I appreciate you guys and I will talk to you really soon. I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie. Bye.